Greetings and salutations, Michigan Ultimate Survivor League owners, members, friends, family, and fans. It is, this is it. This is the biggest podcast of the year because it, the regular season is over. It's over completely. So we had uh, three team, two teams that already won their division as of last week. Those teams obviously did not submit much of a lineup this week. Three ga- three divisions were or conferences were completely up to just whatever happened this week, and then one conference was just a complete shit show, depending on what was to happen. Now I, my glasses are super foggy, so I apologize. Rarely am I seen without my glasses. My glasses make me me, you know. I'm like Clark Kent. Anyway, so here I am today to break down exactly what's going to happen from here on out. Okay, so. First things first, I'm going to announce the conference winners. I'm going to announce the 12 seeds that are getting in based on record, and then the four seeds are getting on based on points. Then I'll explain the playoff lottery. Then I'll show the lottery entrance. Then we'll draw the lottery, and then I will show the playoff schedule. Also important to know that if you do not get selected in the lottery, your season is not over because this is your SUK bracket where everyone, with two exceptions, um, has a chance to win the SUK bracket, and win free entry into next year. There are two teams that get free entry into next year. The winner of the SUK bracket, as well as the winner of the playoff challenge, which will happen during the NFL playoffs. So this league is far from over. Now, of course, you lose in one of these brackets, you will sit out until the playoff challenge starts, which is when the NFL challenge playoff starts, not the Survivor League playoffs. So without further ado, I give you your conference winners, Okay. Here they are, okay? Now, you can't see all this because I've purposely blown it up to where you can't. Let me see if I move this over a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just... Nobody cares about this column. Let's leave that column. Okay, there we go. First of all, Tenacious D, they did not run the table. They did the smart thing and played conservatively. Um, So they lost this week. So they're 10-1. They went that unbeaten season. But you know what? They didn't need the unbeaten season. They'd much rather save their players, I'm sure. So they get the number one overall seed. The number two seed goes to, I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can at least see this, I think. Nope, that didn't work. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. What just happened? Well, this is awkward. I'll fix it. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this done before I go to work. And There we go. All right. That was awkward, but not nearly as awkward as uh, this weekend when uh, we rented our space out for a birthday party and the Commonwealth said, yeah, you know what? We're just going to turn the power off for several hours. So that was really fun, as you can imagine. The current window is too small to display properly. Wasn't that sweet? Okay, I think we're back. Okay, here we go. So now you can see. Giggle, giggle. Nine and two, but had the most points out of anyone. 1,006.52 points. That's why they get the number two seed. Blue New Blue Bombers had was nine and two and only had 876 points, which is kind of crazy if you look at that. It's the lowest of any of the conference winners, plus much lower than people who did not win their conference even. So that's why he's there, but he was nine and two, good enough for the number three seed. The number four seed goes to the Stafford's Bastards, winning their conference eight and three at 935. So you had the most out of the conference winners at eight and three. Monstars winning big this week. Um, and that win got them the first place com- or the first round by, first place in the conference. 895. Honolulu Blue Balls also won this week. That secured them the conference. So congratulations to all six of you. All six of these teams that are gold do not play this week, people. Do not submit lineups. Any of you guys that are the six. So Tenacious D, Giggle Giggle, BBB, Stafford's Bastards, Monstars, and Honolulu Blue Bars, Balls. Don't submit lineups. You're not going to get penalized, okay? You just don't play this week. Then we go to the record ones, Okay. The number one seed out of those, which is ultimately going to be the number seven seed, is going to be Granny's Baloney Curtains. Okay? Granny's Baloney Curtains, eight and three, 927 points. So good job to you. The Tally Whackers get in eight and three. They're the number eight seed. Sticks at India, also eight and three um, at the number nine seed. There are only three eight and three teams that did not make the uh, 
to not win the conference, which, I mean, is actually not so bad, you know? But, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's a 9-2 team that didn't win. So you can see here, this is the uh, actual, you can't see anything. God, this computer presentation is trash. I'm sorry. Um, Tenacious D, Giggle Giggle, Honolulu Blue Balls, Bleeding Blue Bombers, and Stafford's Bastards all win their conference. So kudos to you. It was, uh, there's one team that was weird because they had more points than anyone else. I think it was Granny's, Granny's Baloney Curtains. They had way more points than, uh, most of the, uh, eight and three teams, but still. Okay. So I'm sorry. I was a little confused. I'm trying to get this together so I can get it up so you guys know who's playing. So it was a little rushed, but it's gotta be that way. Number 10 seed is the best of the seven and four teams. Zeke's Relationship Corners, Corner, uh, so we had 954 points, so way more than, Pretty much anyone else. <laughs> 954, second most points so far and out of all these teams, but they ended up 7-4, and four, which is awful, but still. Super Original gets the 11 seed, as you can see. Kakambas gets the 12 seed. Bring back the butt fumble. Tom Farmer with a couple of 7-4 and four squads here. Hockenstein, rookie owner, gets in at the 14 seed. A team has no name at the 15 seed. Password is Taco is a 16 seed. Hernandez Hitman is a 17 team. And then rookie owner Don Knapp, my ball Zacherts, squeaks in at 7 and 4, the last of the 7 and 4 teams to make it. Now, let me just tell you something. My squad, the Providence Power, this is twice now. I've talked a bunch of crap about owners and how bad their year has been. Lasinski's Legends, I did it right before their game. They submitted a super line of beat the shit out of me. And then this year, this weekend, I was I've, I've talked. Not necessarily smack about Ryan Frazier's, you know, uh, now you see me, now you don't. But I've said, hey, what a disappointing that he's been. He's been a great owner his whole time here. I've known the guy. I think he's been there since year one. He's always been a perennial playoff team. This year he just has not won. Well, guess what? He won this week, and by beating me, he actually knocked my ass out of the playoffs. I would have been seven and four. And I don't have enough points to get in on points, as you'll find out here in a second. So congratulations, Ryan Frazier. You spoiled my season. However, I could still get in on the wild card, although so could you. So we'll find out here in a little bit. Next up, we have the four seeds out of all the teams that are left with the most points. Okay? And I believe that is. I gotta go to my notes screen here. Make sure there wasn't some air down here, because I just realized that something wasn't sorted, right? So we got Mayfield's Chubb at 9.59. Okay, yep, that is right. That's right. All right, I got it right. Sorry, man. Oh, what a mess this is. But, all right, where are we at? We got to go back here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Spoiler alert. All right, so the first seed in, based on record, is going to be Mayfield's Chubb. 959 points. Good job, Mayfield's Chubb. I believe that is defending champion uh, Alan Harvey, whose regular squad did not do well this year, but Mayfield's Chubb did. Play with Mike Ditka. He was killing it in points. Somehow did not get in number one on points, but still. Play with Mike Ditka. Gets uh, 953 points. So very close to uh, Mayfield's Chubb. Doesn't matter, but he's good for the 20th seed. The 21st seed goes to the New Orleans Rock Chucks with 950 points, and then Florida Farging Ice Holes comes out of nowhere and gets 933 points, which is good for, uh, yeah, 933 points is good for the, the last spot. So kudos to you, Tony Lay, who got randomized week one because of the hurricane and uh, came back and, you know, Six and five is not a not a great year, but he scored a lot of points. I mean, 933, you got to look at this. 933 is more than 
the 18 seed, the 17 seed, the 16 seed, the 15 seed, the 14 seed, the 13 seed, the 12 seed, the 11 seed, the 9 seed, the 8 seed, the 7 seed, the 6 seed, the 5 seed, and the 4 seed, or the 3 seed, sorry, and the 1 seed. What? 933. So these four teams right here all scored more than number one seeded Tenacious D. Now, in fairness, they did not play the, the people in the last in the last in the last round. The last game, they didn't really submit anyone hardly. So that's to be forgiven, I guess. But these teams here, woof, 764. 764 gets in the playoffs. That's insane. If you go over here to my notes, see, see look at this. You will see so many teams. So look at this. This is my year. Four and seven scored 862 points. Ouch. Look at this one. Now you see me, now you don't. He beat me this week. And the Lions, 833 and 837, and they're fucking three and eight and three and eight. Oh, my God. And your mother likes my defense. 825. All more points than my ball, Zach Ertz. But my ball, Zach Ertz, gets in based on the fact that he was seven and four, and these teams are three and eight. I got to look at these two. The two and nine teams. True Blue Wrecking Crew was two and nine. And they had 808 points. Are you kidding me right now? How the hell does my ball, Zach Ertz, squeak by with a seven and four record and 764 points? That just blows my mind. But that's what makes this league great because so much weird shit can happen. You never know. So 764, a horrendous point total for the year, but he had the right matchups at the right time to get the wins, lock in that final playoff spot based on record, and he's moving on. The scary thing is, with that few points, maybe he hasn't started anybody. Who knows? We'll find out. Uh, we can look into that, but we probably don't have time today. But you can look into it. Uh, so uh, we'll see. Now, here we go. So I'm going to break this down real quick how this last part works for those of you who don't know. As you see down here, we have four spots, 23, 24, 25, and 26. These are all wild card spots. I've gone through, and basically for every win you get, you get one ticket. Okay? You can see here, 52 Shades of Clay. They have five wins. They have five tickets, 99% luck. Six wins, six tickets. Alabama Muff Riders. Five wins, five tickets, all the way down. You can see here, now you'll see Bitches Back is eliminated from the playoff drawing because she was randomized too much. Brady Bush gets six tickets, you know, all the way down. So you can see this is all legit. Lansing Lunatics, they were randomized a bunch, but they were re they were taken over by another owner, so he gets in, as well as Brady's backup. They took over teams that were randomized, so they have a chance for the new owner to potentially win it all uh, by taking over a broken franchise. So uh, that's pretty cool. Melissa's Meatballs, Old Papa's Plays. Now you see me, now you don't. There you are. Roll in the homes also was eliminated because he was randomized too much and we didn't find a new owner for him. Squadrals, the Black Hell, I have to say it once per podcast. Trump with the Volume 2 Squad. A lot of six-win teams here, okay? So how this works. So we have currently 233 entries, okay? So I go over to random.org and die 1 through 233, okay? Now I will not... Draw yet, because how I do this, just to show you all that this is truly random, is I go over here, and I go to here, and I go to insert column left. I'm going to equals rand, parentheses, parentheses, boom. Now, this is a random number. I'm going to fill this all the way down to where we got the intellectual defense, boom. And you will see that every number is indeed random, okay? Now, I take this. And I left the ones with the, with the cross outs in just to see if their name gets drawn because that way I'd be like, hey, you know what? Maybe you guys should have been alive. So now I'm going to sort the columns by column A. Boom. So now you see everything is completely randomized here. We got True Blue Wrecking Crew at one, all the way down, completely random, completely random, completely random, completely random, completely random. This is my year 233. Okay? Now they have other numbers, obviously. Every number corresponds with a team. Every number corresponds with a win for that team. So, now, to show that this is truly random, I'm going to click this button five times. Okay? You will see... Well, can you see this? You cannot see this on here. Crap. i got to get this to where you can see this. Hold on. Oh, my God. This window nonsense is a fucking nightmare. Punch it over here. Still can't see it. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Still can't... Why can you not see that? Oh, I can't even see it now. Okay, here we go. Hold on, hold on. 
Okay, you can see here. 130, 1 to 233, okay? I'm not sure if you can see what number pulls up, though. Let me move over just a little bit further. No, I don't care about the left column. Oh, oh, hey, hey, here we go. Now we're talking right here. Now we're talking. Now you can see everything. I might even be able to zoom in a little. Nope, not much. Okay, well, maybe right, right there. I'm going to click this five times. You'll see me click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Number is 59. We go over here and we look and see what number 59 is. 59, 59 is for notification. For notification is in. You can't see it right now, but there it is right there. For notification is in. We're going to delete all the for notifications here. We're going to put him over here to this for notification. He's in for notification on the year. I feel like Mel Kuyper Jr. On the year for notification was four and seven with 797. So still more points than my ball, Zacherts. So now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sort everything. Data sort by B. Delete all the four notifications out. So we know we don't have to worry about him being drawn again. Wasn't a lot of entries there. Four entries. Delete row is 96 through 99. Boom. Now you notice these numbers are changing again. Okay. So now we go from one through... <clears throat> to 29. Cannot text right now. Sorry, I got a phone call. 1 through 229. We have not direct selected the numbers yet because we have to do this. Data, sort range, by column A, boom, completely randomized. Now, Lennon Hurricanes gets the last number, 229. And Brady's backup gets number 1. So here we go. 1 through 229. We're going to click five times. One, two, three, four, five. 115. Number 115. Number 115 is going to be Carry On Wayward Son. Four and seven for the year. Carry On Wayward Son gets into the playoffs based on the lottery. He had a good year, I thought. I mean, maybe not, though, based on the record. So now we go back over here. <clears throat> we're going to knock out all the carry on wayward sons. So we're going to sort by column B. Take out all the carry on wayward sons. Four. He had four wins. So, so far, teams with six wins have not fared very well. Now we go from one through 225. We're going to switch over here. We're going to sort this by column A, sort range by column A. Boom. Chiz Nasty at the bottom. Tune Squad up at the top, but that doesn't mean anything because it's truly random. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Numbers 29. 29. And that is Maylin Incorporated, another four win team. Maylin Incorporated gets in the friggin' playoffs. Malin Incorporated. It's four and seven. Three four and seven squads so far. We've never had a year where teams with the highest number of play or the A team with the highest number of entries has not been drawn. And as of right now, that looks like that may be the case, uh, barring this last draw here. So Malin Incorporated's event, uh, entries will be eliminated. Delete rows one through there. So now we're going to go down. Now obviously we should be down to 221. There we are, 221. Go over here, 221. This is it. This is the final team. We're going to sort this by column A. Sort range by column A. Boom. Who's at the bottom? Bare Naked Tigger's at the bottom. Who's at the top? Built for D Tough. Doesn't matter where they are, but here we go. The last person. The last squad selected into the 2019 Muscle Playoffs is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, number 120. Number 120, and that is Melissa's Meatballs. Melissa's Meatballs gets in on the wild card with six wins, so it did happen. She did have six, six, weed, six wins, six weeds. I don't know, maybe she has more than that. I don't know. Haven't been at her at her house lately. Melissa's Meatballs gets into the playoffs based on the lottery. So again, this is four and seven, four and seven, four and seven, six and five, 
So, that's how that's going to work. So, I'm going to go through and seed that here in a minute. <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm going to show you uh, just uh, how this looks here. Let's do this. So this will technically be uh, the 23 seed here is Melissa's Meatballs because she had the best record. And then we've got, let me go over here. I got to look and see who had the best points out of these because that's how that works. They're all equal the same. So notes, playoff lottery, blah, 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 blah. All right, we've got Melissa's Meatballs, 6 and 5. Then we got the 4 and 7 teams. We've got Malin Incorporated, Carry On Wayward Son, and then Four Notification getting the 26 seed. Malin Incorporated, uh, Carry On Wayward Son. Whoops, that was not the black hole. Sorry, the black hole. What the hell? And then Four Notification. I'm going to hit the Save button. You'll see that. The SUK bracket will be set up later this week. You don't have to worry about that. Just submit a lineup. So now if we go to playoff brackets. Here we go. Can you see this? You can kind of see it. Move it over there. I really do hate this setup. I need two monitors straight up. So here we go. Week one, which is week 12. We got the 16 seed password is taco taking on Hernandez hitman winner. Of that will go on to square off against tenacious D next week. Then we've got sticks at any at the nine seed taking on Malin incorporated the 24 seed winner. Okay. Tally whackers taking on the 25th seeded carry on wayward son. Bring back the butt fumble taking on play with Mike Ditka and a clash of Titans right there as Tom Farmer takes on Tony Cromwell. Winner of that takes on Bob Ames of Stafford's Bastards. Kakambas, the 12 seed, taking on the New Orleans Rock Chucks. Winner of that takes on Monstars next week. Then a team has no name taking on the 18 seeded My Ball Zach Ertz, aka the 746 point man. Winner of that would take on Giggle Giggle next week. Zeke's Relationship Corner taking on Melissa's Meatballs. As the 10 takes on the 23, the number 7 seed, Granny's Baloney Curtains, taking on 4 Notification at 26. That is the basically the 1 versus 16 seed for this for this round, anyway. Hockenstein taking on Mayfield's Chubb. Winner of that takes on Bleeding Blue Bombers. And then Super Original taking on Florida Farging Ice Holes. FL Florida. I, I'm assuming that's what it means. Winner of that taking on Honolulu Blue Balls. So those are your matchups for week one, folks. Get your lineups in. SUK bracket will be posted soon. Um, and also, uh, all of the conference winners, you will be getting $50 uh, pretty soon. Uh, within by, by Saturday, you'll be getting it. I just got to transfer money from one account to the other. I sound like I work for the Trump administration. Oh, yeah! All right, we'll talk to you later. Y'all enjoy this uh, lovely weather we have here. And uh, I'll be back next week with a... Uh, special playoff edition of the Commissioner's Corner. You have a wonderful day, folks.